Hi everyone, today we are dyeing my hair again, finally. It has been a little while since I did my hair, but I am so ready to dye it again. And I am also going to give it a little bit of a trim because it definitely needs it. So I think we're gonna do that first. We're just doing the hair tie method that we have done before. And um, I'm not gonna cut a lot, just a little bit. So I'm gonna start by tying my hair back in a little pigtail. I think that is pretty even. And then I'm taking a second hair tie and I'm gonna tie it all the way down here at the end. And last time I did this, I cut off more than I thought. So I'm just gonna pull it a little bit further down than I think I need, just so that I'm sure. And I do have some hair scissors that I'm going to cut right above the, um, the hair tie with. This is in the Stella Steel Blue shade, and uh, this is a uh, not uh, cruelty-free 100% vegan line, which is Finnish, I believe. This is what the color looks like. For me, I think this is a little bit more blue than I want it to be, so I will be mixing it with a little bit of Euro Euro Purple. And then I also have some Manic Panic Raven, so that if I want it to be darker, I can add some black. And um, since I only thought I got one, I also bought Manic Panics Blue Steel today so that I have this too. And I do want to try to get a little bit of a shadow root action. So I will be mixing two colors. One of them will be a little bit darker than the other. So this is what Blue Steel, Steel Blue, Stella Steel Blue, Blue Steel, whatever, looks like by itself. Um, it looks pretty dark, but it's not as dark when you actually apply it. So. It is also really, really thick. I don't want to dilute this color, um, so I'm just going to add a little bit of purple. This is the purple that I added in. I can't decide if I think it just looks purple or if I think it looks gray. So I'm just going to add a little bit of black. This is so dark. So I'm just doing like the tiniest, tiniest little bit. So this is the color and it just looks purple. I think. I'm gonna add a little bit more black. Okay, so this is going to be my like length color. And, and this one, we're gonna mix a base color, like root. So I'm starting with some black and some purple. This black is, it says it's blue base, but it looks more green. So. I'm gonna start mixing these two. This is very dark purple. I think it can be a good start. I'm gonna add some more conditioner and just because I need more dye. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. This is my blue. I'm adding one pump or a half. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue and a little bit more purple. This is like the best part about dyeing my hair, just mixing the color. Okay, so this is what I have for my root color and this is what I have for the bottom. I do think that this needs to be a little bit more blue and this needs to be a little bit more purple. Okay, I think I'm happy with the dyes now. So this is the dark one and this is the light one. We're just gonna try it and worst case I end up with purple hair. So for the root, I'm going to start off with that as 
So I'm just going to part my hair like I did when I, um, when I did my, or when I bleached my roots. Alright, um, I guess we'll just jump right in and uh, we'll use the dark color first. Okay, the first part of the roots are done. Now we're just gonna do the back. Okay, I'm just gonna do the back and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, so all the front is done and the back is done. And um, now we're just gonna add the other color <clears throat> and try to blend them all together. So I need some gloves now. I did get a lot of color on me without the gloves, but it's fine. This um, other color is so thick. I really don't know how to handle it. I really hope this ends up more gray than purple. These gloves are like falling off of me. These gloves are terrible. I gave up on the gloves. positive thing about having such thick hair color is that it really doesn't go anywhere. Like you can just pick it up and slather it on and it's gonna stay there no matter what. I'm almost done, so I'm just gonna come back when I am finished dyeing or putting the color in my hair. Dyes in, I have a plastic bag that I'm gonna put over my head, and I'm gonna chill for like an hour or two, and then we're gonna wash it out, and I'll show you the results. My hands are definitely more purple than blue, so I have to say I'm very excited to see the results. I'm crossing my fingers that they are okay. So here's the hair that we ended up with, and uh, it's definitely not gray, it's definitely very purple. Um, I ha There is gray in here, like this streak right here is gray, um, so where my hair was a little bit more yellow, it definitely went more gray than purple. But um, yeah, this top part here is pretty blue. Um, and then it fades into this color. So I'm, by all means, I'm happy with the color. It's just not what I was going for. So I guess we'll try to do purple again some other time. And uh, this might still fade purple on me uh, when, once I wash my hair. Um, but you can see that it does go gray some places. I do want to mention though that this stains my skin. 
which the colors that I usually use never does. Like you can see my hands are still a little bit blue purple. Um, not too bad though. <clears throat> but my skin along right here is definitely stained like a bluish purple color. So just be aware of that. Um, I've never had problems with staining with Arctic Fox or Eero Eero. I don't know if it was Manic Panic or the Hermes Professional that stained my skin. Let me know down below what color you want me to try out next and if you want me to want to see me try grey again at some other time. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!